first date horror stories. I know you guys have been begging me to tell like first date stories because Lord knows I've been on a lot of first dates. This story was back when I used to use dating apps. Like I don't use them anymore because I, I'm convinced that everyone on dating apps is like insane. But anyway, okay, so this happened about a year or two ago. I bashed on a dating app with this man. He was a physician's assistant and he seemed really cute, has a really nice job, seemed to have his life together, and he asked me to meet him at Buffalo Wild Wings, which I was like, you know what, slay. Eating wings on a first date is a little bit um, not hot, but whatever, like, I'm, I'm down with some wings. Just be honest at the restaurant and things are going well i get like a beer he gets a beer they're doing some sort of deal where it's like you get a beer and then it's like two for one wings so it was like awesome we chit chat and like right off the bat i can just tell he's not for me he was really awkward and he also looked a lot different than his dating profile he's the date ends and i used to do this thing where i would text them right after the date just to like not make it go on and on i would say if i was interested or not so i was like you know what i had so much fun with you but i don't think there was a huge connection like i wish you the best of luck this man could not take rejection. He texted me the nastiest long message. He tried to call me. Like, this man was blowing up my phone, messaged me on Instagram. Eventually, I was like, screw this, I'm blocking him. Like, this is crazy. Okay, this man finds me on Venmo and he Venmo requests me half of the price of the dinner or the dinner. You guys, the bill was 20 dollars and like 10 cents it was so cheap he venmoed me like ten dollars and it had this long message and was like this is for you wasting my time if you're not interested you can pay your share what is he doing he's beginning to believe i've never had somebody venmo request me for a first date that was like a twenty dollar buffalo wild wings date and he was a physician's assistant like you know this man could pay for it Anyways, this like traumatized me for so long, but I thought I would share it with you guys. <laughs> first day. Well, first of all, um, his job being a physician's assistant has nothing to do with it. Neither does the cost of the food being $20. It could be $2, $20, $200, $2,000. It doesn't belong to you. And it's not about um, him accepting rejection. It's about you using him. Because see, it would be a different story if you just went on a date and he didn't spend a dime on you and then you just weren't interested. That's the difference. When you sit there and you take and you benefit monetarily from someone and you're not interested in them romantically, you're using them. And you know that's exactly what you're doing. You tried to give a little credit to the wing, said, oh, whatever, you know, just go with the flow. But you were already not interested in him because of that. <clears throat> And guys, my fellas, I'm going to say this to you, especially you young guys that maybe watch this video. Be aware of women that are like this, that use their uh, their body, um, how they look to attract you to future fake you. When I say future faking, that just means that a woman is giving you some type of uh, signal that there is a chance, an opportunity for the future. That's basically what that is. A lot of these women today, we use their sexuality to do that because a lot of them lead with their sexuality. Just look at the video. Look how she's sitting there. She's in a car. She has her hand on the armrest. She's making the seat bounce. She's leaned back to make her breasts appear bigger. She has a camera angle that goes all the way down so you can clearly see all of her torso, pretty much. And then she's just constantly so you can see it that right there is just bait and the reason why she's doing that is because she knows that men are visual women a lot of them try to come try to say that they don't understand it and all this but they know exactly what it is and they know exactly what time it is that's why they use it to attract men she mentioned in the beginning of that video that she's been on a lot of first dates which means she's been on a lot of dates where she's used men and told them that she's not interested in them. And she said it at the end. I usually send them a message saying, I don't think this is going to work out. A lot of women like this are doing this as sport. They're doing it because they think that this is what men do. And they think they live in this patriarchy that really doesn't exist as far as the dating market. 
as far as the value of the men and the women. So she's trying to do what she thinks men do. And it's only really going to hurt her because she's going to eventually sleep with people. She's going to adapt that that thought process. Obviously, she already has it now. You know, once you get into a habit of doing something, it's very hard to break away from it, especially when you put all the value on monetary things and what men can do for you and what they have. And unfortunately, there's a lot of women out there that like her that do this. She knows that she's young. She knows that she's attractive. She knows that she has the long flowing hair. She knows that her breasts are, are you know, voluptuous. She knows that. And she's using that. And guys, you have to stop falling for this trickery because this is all it is. When it comes down to it, it's all about what a woman has in here. All this other stuff is superficial. It's going to go away. But what's in here is going to always stay the same. And what stays in here the longest is going to influence how you are as a person. So she could get to 40 years old and she'll probably still have this mentality. And it's sad. But you cannot fall for that. I don't care how good a woman looks. I don't care how sexy she looks. Do not give any woman anything or anybody really anything that they do not deserve, especially when it's coming out of your pocket. If you feel that you got to prove to a woman, I don't care how, how she looks. By spending money, you have to spend money to prove to her that you're worthy. You're losing. All she's doing is showing up with her body. She definitely doesn't have a good character. So what is what else is that is there about this woman? Because her being sexy and attractive is not enough. It's not. And also, guys, remember this. You're not the only one. So there could actually be a psycho out there that is jealous. He might see you with her. He might be stalking you. Oh, hell no. That's a whole nother can of worms. And to the ladies that are doing this, she's lucky all she got uh, was a Venmo request. What if this guy could attract her to her house? What if he could have found out where she worked? What if he set somebody else up to pretend to be someone else so he or so he could contact her? What if he uh, what's what's the show catfished her on a dating site? Or whatever the case may be. Because he's went out on a date with her. He knows where she's at generally, right? Locally. She might have even told him a little bit more information than, than she should have. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? So when you do things like this, you put yourself as a woman in a very bad place. Because you can talk and you can try to be like a man all you want to. But the fact is you're not a man. And definitely you're not a man equal in strength. A man will overpower you all day long. Be careful. Stop playing games. You don't have to do that. I will give you my last opinion on her. The fact that she's attractive. The fact that she's young. The fact that she is voluptuous is great. Initially, it's, uh, those are things that men are going to be attracted to. But everything else, this game... That is the problem. Now she's trying to run around and act like it's a great thing to date all these men. But you cannot escape your biology. You cannot escape what's innate within yourself as a woman. You can't. You can try to pretend to be a man all you want to. And men can, can play the female feminine role in a relationship all they want to. But it's never going to bring either sex the happiness that they deserve. And you're just going to keep going around in circles but anyway as always thank you for watching this video and let me know what you think in the comment again this is my opinion always my opinion but let me know what you think because i'm definitely curious about that don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel i appreciate you and please have a good day peace